Hi guys, it's Chris and we have another 3640 on the Amiga 3000 Special! Alright, without that goofy daggone intro, Gangsta's got it going on again. What's up with that? Dig it, my GG Labs FR216 Tower of Power. That's not all of it, it's actually just this stuff, but that don't work either. That's another day. But, for real, I did get a 3640. Let me put on the old ankle bracelet here. Told y'all before. Don't like having it on my body. So I wrap it around my foot like a prison bracelet. If that's what prison bracelets are. I don't know, it just sounded good. That way I am electrostatically discharged, or whatever that stuff is. Anyway, check this out. So we have a Rev 3.1 3640. Sorry if I goosed you on eBay for this. I just had to have it. I think it's been recapped, but they put the caps on right, which is wrong. Right? So anyway, all the silk screening on the 3.1 boards were backwards. So positive was negative and negative was positive. So they put the caps on positive, negative, and they were reversed. But this one's got caps that are crooked as a politician. They're a little twisted like uh, Adrian does. And maybe he had this before me. Don't know. I'm going to put this in the Amiga 3000. Yes, I know. I just got it back together. So, that's what we're going to do. Let me get the Linux keyboard out of the way. For some reason, my hot glue gun wanted to make an appearance. So, hi, hot glue gun. How are you doing? Fine. Uh, As you can see, it's got the 3000. Should I be using the fancy new overhead cameras I have? Not really. It doesn't really like fly very well in this instance. Okay, here we go again. So, you know the drill. Power's off. Now to get the floppies out, the cards out, which is the Amex 2 Plus and the uh, Aradne 2 Ethernet. And I'm going to pull the power supply and the drive cage dude all in one. Okay, so it's tore apart. Got the riser board in just enough so I can get to the CPU slot right here. I got to set jumpers, don't I? Forgot about that. Uh, what are we doing? External, external, right? CPU clock, external. And, oops, can't see that one. And the other one, which is, I can't see it. What does it say? Board clock, internal or external? External. And then I think it's 25, doesn't matter. Kosher dill pickles for fingers. All right, external, external, 25. Pick this up here like that and set it sideways. That's good. Was there another jumper? There's three. I forget. Turn it on and see what happens, right? Power light. Won't have a SCSI because there's no SCSI. Because I didn't plug it in. And... Nothing. I need to check his jumpers. Ouch. Clock on internal. Kiss my butt. Alright, well I don't know. I plugged the hard drive in. I disabled the map ROM and it started doing something right away. So we're going to see what the heck happens on the screen. I don't know what's happening. I'm holding everything up so it doesn't short circuit stuff. The heat sink's too tall. It's not going to fit in the 3000. It's going to bump the bottom of the floppy drive. All right, cool. We booted. It takes a second. Um. Oh my god. It's got an old version of Sysinfo in here. I just want to see what it says. 6840 plus 882 mm in use. Speed should be 25. Oh my god. 0 0.004. What the hell is that? RAM is full. Why the hell is RAM full? I have no fast RAM. What the heck happened? Uh, that's kind of odd. Accelerator works, but no memory. Interesting. That explains why it's so damn slow. I have 21 bytes of RAM free. 
That's kind of nuts. What's up with that? That's kind of weird. Card works. Okay, so I'm going to put the map ROM back on. I don't know why that would cause it to do that and not have any RAM. Bring it back on again. It won't boot with that. Map ROM on, will not boot. Jumpers again. Make sure everything is on external. Not having a good day here. Map ROM is now on. This is doing stuff. Didn't hear the floppies go off. Plug them in. Let's see if we have RAM this time. Kind of crazy land in there. She'll pan up a minute. Let's see what we see. Something's on my foot. There's my RAM back. Okay. That's cool. I'll take it. Yeesh. Right Omega E, I just hit it. Look at that. Doot 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 doot. Holy crap. That's slower than the O30. Alright. O4882 speed. Should be 1.0 on a 4000, because that's what it is. 25 megahertz. Okay, 1.0, 4000. Boof. Motor rolling. Great. I forgot three twos on here. Kind of slows it down just a tickle. 35 times faster than an Amiga 600 at 7 megahertz. Anything's faster than an Amiga 600. Let's run sys speed. I need to get some other stuff off of here. Do I have it on here? Sys speed. Love you. Here we go. What? Oh God. What is up with that? Is my keyboard like not working? Yeah, it's like a delay in clicks. It's weird. Clean it up. Look at that. Something's wrong. Something's really weird. Look at that. Holy God. What is up with this graphics? Alright. Extremely weird. Reaction. Get the hell away. I hate you. Five minutes later you'll show up. Something's going on. This is just... Nope. Clear that damn pattern. Thank you. Save. I don't like all them dumb patterns and crap coming up. Look how long it takes to open a program. Something's up. So we're rebooting it one more time. It's like acting really slow. It's on compact flash media. You can see the little light blinking down here. 2 megs of chip, 16 megs of fast, okay? It's what it's always been. Virus Z. Maybe it just needs a fresh reboot. I don't know. Let's do sys speed again. You've got to be sh Something's up with the 3640. You're getting weird and warm. I need a low profile heat sink. I'm going to let it sit for a second. Okay, second over. Okay. It's just weird. Sys speed, sys speed. Oh, it's going to pitch about the stack size. Red Amiga I. Come on, reaction. See, turn all that reaction junk off. Everything works fine. Stack 65, 535. That should be enough. You know? Double click. Continue nevertheless. I don't know what you're bitching about. Just do it. See? This. This is reaction. Gets on my nerves. Can't stand it. God. Main. Holy crap. System info. That's going to look all weird. It just slowed down. FBO 40 ECS. It works, but is it working good? Something's up. Something is up. I could tear apart the 4000 and put its 040 in here and see if that works any better. But I don't want to curse it. 
13 megs of chip, 16 megs of fast, just like always. What's the old uh, Luke Skywalker say? Yeah, I forgot how hot they got. 366 degrees. I think that is a pal that is a little bit too hot. Jeez, oh, flip, burnt my skin. That is a little too hot. So we'll let it roll. I got a fan going on it. That's crazy hot. Crazy hot. Why? It's working. Running better. Okay. Here, how about that? Figure that one out. I hate this look. Mega 3000, 25, 25040. Uh, it has iCache, burst cache, dynamic cache, burst, and copy back. Get out of there. 2 megs of chip, 16 mega fast. I'm an NTSC high res lace. 715,909 vertical, 60,000 or 60 hertz horizontal refresh rate or power, 15 kilohertz, and it crashed. But I'm gonna leave it because it's running. So board's nothing because there's nothing in there. I need to run like a Mega test kit or something because it's just nuts. Which Amiga? How about that? Uh. 6840, 24.8, 040, 040mmu running. Denise, Fat Agnes. Even though it says 8372A, it's a B. Uh, yep. ECS Paula, or Denise, I mean. ECS Denise. Paula Ramsey, Rev 13. Gary, Rev 0. I don't have a Ramsey, Rev 13. Anyway, 2 makes chip, clock found, ECS, blah, 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 3000. Workbench unknown, kickstart unknown. Need a new witch Amiga there, uh, Harry Sintaman, Sintaman, whatever. Mega test kit, let's run it. Yep, didn't boot from it, just did it. There's a Snoop Double D O Double G, test the RAM. Just see what's going on here. We have a 300 degree PAL that is now cool. What's this thing say? So this froze. On the first little bit, didn't get any testing done because it totally froze. Yep. But the card works. Am I going to put it in here? I don't know. I want to, but it's kind of weird. I mean, this, it's a little bit special. Okay. Pull it out. Just, it won't fit. I mean, it's hotter than Hades, but. We're going to have to do a Mr. T on this guy. Bling him out like a 90's rap star. Check the caps. They look like they've been put on, but they're put on backwards. It's functional. It works. When I mean put on backwards, I mean put on correctly on the silk screen, which is actually backwards because Commodore flip-flopped the silk screens because they had the best quality control ever. Anyway, this heat sink's a little bit too tall. It, it can't be this high because it just hits the bottom of the floppy tray down here. But clear that so yeah I'm gonna put this back to its stock form but I have to find myself another heat sink for this I believe I have another one off an old Mac 030 or something off my Quadra I could scalp or swap and that's a low profile guy like I have on the 4000 and then I'm gonna bling it out with some heat sinks from Raspberry Pis because I have a whole bag full of them and then we'll at least get the gals all covered up here they get super hot and then the this will be something and unlike the Amiga uh, 4000 the 3000 actually has cooling vents in the front of it you can see in the vents in there you can see right through the only problem with that is I'll show you that air moves to a solid plate <laughs> so it could suck through the holes here and here and here there's the doll. So as you can see, we're Mortimer, we're back, sorta. I uh, got it in, sorta. I'm just buttoning up a couple screws here and there. And then I'm gonna retest it afterwards. I hate taking this thing apart. I say that every time, but I keep taking it apart until I get the, the 040 
heat sink issue sorted. So we're doing off the board and I have a read error. Back all apart because you can't get to it because you got to take the daughter board out. See how much fun the Amiga 3000 is? It's a blast. Loose SCSI cables. That gets you every time. You know what would have happened is I would have uh, put the whole thing back together and pressed the button that would have wouldn't have worked and then I had to take the whole thing back apart. So I've learned that lesson a little bit. Yep. Alright. 3.2, we're good again. I'm just gonna I mean the 030, it just works it works good. I don't have any weird issues, it just freaking works. I don't have any craziness, no glitchy-ish weirdness. I don't know. I hate this part though. Can't stand that. It's just a little bit slow with the reaction. Don't like reaction. Wish I could take it out of there. 25 and 9. Interesting. That's funny. So 030. Uh, Sysinfo. Whoops. We're going to be okay. That don't work anymore. Great. Ruby E. I like it coming up in the top left. So 6830882 MMU in use. I know I have I know I don't have that. Okay. Turn all my caches on and off. That's all I'm doing. Speed, make sure I'm 1.0, not 0.78 or whatever. 1.0 mega 3030. Great. Nothing. Give her a tug, make you feel better. Good to go. Calabunga. Great. So, now, again, I'm going to put all the cards back in, put the lid on, and retest it one more time. So, here we go. Everything's groovy. No memory errors. No hard drive errors. I could run uh, Amaback Tools and just give her a check disk kind of thing. But that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on, screws back in, and back over in its house. If you have any idea why this is weird, I should recap it. I'm probably going to. Even though it looks like it's capped, but they're capped wrong. Get rid of this heat sink. It's a little too tall. And somebody been in here. You're selling this as old. This is old and untested. Yet, this is still wet. You know, heat sink paste doesn't stay wet it dries out and gets crusty we're gonna bling out the 3640 put some mr. T on it might go gold this time I don't know why because it's there and then uh like I said lower heat sink better heat dissipation with the Raspberry Pi heat sinks they're the perfect size and then uh we'll see what we can do but yeah oh, here's what I'll say about cooling Check this out. So if the case was on, yes, it has vents. But it's going to suck all the dirt in through the floppy drives because there is uh, no holes in the front. Where the CPU is, there's like holes on the side right here. Like all this is open underneath. I like guess whole thing's open. That's great. But it the case closes here. There's no... There's no place to get the air around because the case has the perfect notch. You can't hap. Yep, it just goes right here. So you can cool this metal bar, I guess, or. Yeah, you'll go up here. That's what will happen. It'll suck here, blow all in your floppy drives, go over top of your floppy drives, get them all dusty, fill in this, and go out. The fan does kind of have a propeller that goes underneath on the bottom side of the board and I guess that's designed to help suck air across the RAM and CPU not the best at you know design on cooling because it was 25 megahertz so anyway I hope this helps you somehow if y'all got any ideas what's up with that 040 or something I can look for check into that's all I have to say about that so as always thanks for watching and hope you learned something.